Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to find the default gateway in Linux. Now, if, if you want to look up these commands or copy and paste them, they'll be uh, we have them in this document, so just check the link in the description. Um, any case, so it, it's uh, relatively easy. Um, so yeah, default gateway is going to be IP route show. And uh, so here, for example, we can see our default gateway is 192.168.3.1. So that's that's the uh, router, that's my upstream router that that leads out to the internet. Um, let's see, so this, this shows all of my routes. Um, some of these are for virtualization and stuff, but in any case, the default, the default route is the one that says default right here. Um, so that, that's our default gateway. Um, you, you could actually also say, instead of route show, you could just say IPR, and that, that, that's uh, the same thing, just for short. So it's going to show by default, and instead of saying IP route, you can say IPR. And so it's an, a neat, convenient thing that they give you with this tool. Um, and you can actually grep for uh, default, and there you go. Now this is a relatively, so you know that, that gives it to you on one line. Now, if you, you wanted to just get the number for a variable in a script or something, you could further just awk. You, you could just use awk and say print dollar sign three. This is a little on it. I mean, depends on what you need, I guess, but you can just get the, I, the exact IP like that. So you, you could use this to parse out your exact the exact IP of your default gateway if, if you wanted to. Now, um. There's a couple other commands you could use. You could use the route command or the netstack command. Not all of these commands are, you may or may not have all of these commands on your system. Um, some, I, I believe netstat and route are, are deprecated, whereas IP is the, the new command that should be installed on newer systems. So depending on what system you have, you may, may have one command or the other, and you can just go ahead and install those commands um, if needed. In, in any case, um, route-n, is uh, see here for example I I'm, I'm just typing it wrong so there we go um, this is my default gateway and um, you, you can see here I believe this flag here the G tells us that that it's the default gateway and also the fact that the destination is ze all zeros here um, it, it stand out stands out it's pretty obvious that like this is the default gateway um, any case um, netstat-rn will give you similar output, basically the same output. So yeah, sa same thing. I mean, you, you can spot this and say, oh yeah, of course, this is my default gateway. Um, you know, I know I'm on this network and this is, you know, you know, due to the destination and everything. But if you wanted to be sure, just check the flags. You have the, the G flag here for gateway. That's our default gateway. So, yep, that's that's pretty much it. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting. If nothing else, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon. Up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up. And, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff. Um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.